I'm 41 now. It took me almost 41 years <laughs> to figure this much out about life, just, just myself, what's really going on, how to surrender, the mind, all the self-talk, addiction, approval seeking, dopamine hits, addiction. It's been rough. So in the last year and a half, I've managed to lose a bunch of weight, get healthy, beat a couple of big diseases, um, you know, really deal with myself, get a bit vulnerable, not as much as I'd like to be, but I'm learning. And, you know, there's a lot to all this stuff. And the transformation is not easy. And you're gonna walk through, you know, you, you know, some days you're in heaven, hell, whatever you wanna call it, but there's a lot of karma that I need to burn up over time because now that I'm getting cleaner and clearer, I'm having situations just keep repeating themselves until I make the correct choice. And I know it's gonna hurt. I know it's gonna burn, but that's the only way to burn off this karma in this lifetime. So a lot of my karma has been around women, relationships, food. Those three things have been huge. And I guess self-identity, whatever you want to call that, like self-esteem, you know, the validation, feeling good enough. I don't believe any of this stuff comes from like childhood trauma, this, that, and the other thing. I think it's just past life karma that's been built up that was never dealt with. So I just got to keep dealing with it, keep dealing with it until I burn it all up. So situations keep arising for me, it might be different for all of you. Everybody has different karma. That's why there's like no recipe for this. There's no, oh, just let it go, surrender to it. And well, I mean, that is the answer, you know, but when you do that, you know, it's not a one size fits all. Do these four steps to manifest abundance in my life. First you meditate, then you do this, then you do that. It's really not about any of that. Like, you know, just keep thinking, 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 you know, get all this stuff, meditate, you know, do all this stuff, do your yoga, eat your food, and then all this will come to you. You know, it's not really about that. You know, it's about really surrendering, not just your mind telling you to surrender and using your mind to reprogram your brain and your subconscious and hack your brain and do all these biohacks and do all these protocols and step one, step two, do this, do that, do this, do that. It'll help you get there. Yeah, they're all great practices to keep you grounded, but what you really, really need to do is get right within and just be 100% authentic at all times with yourself and just really get out of your mind. As soon as the situation arises, the mind starts chattering. You quiet the mind. Okay, I meditated away. Okay, it's gone. Okay, how am I gonna get a million dollars? Meditate, okay, that's gone. I'm gonna start a business and get meditate and say I need this and do all my mantras. What you really need to do is surrender to God, whoever, the higher power inside you, innate into, whatever you wanna call it, is your mind is going surrender that and really surrender it not because you know the outcome but because you truly believe that you're not your mind you can't just say oh i'm going to surrender my mind today because i know that i'll get a million dollars if i just surrender and let god do his thing or whatever you have to genuinely surrender what does not serve you and the easiest way but the hardest way to have this happen is something tragic or sh shitty has to happen where you're just like no more you know so it's more like mm, no more all right so i was smoking weed for a long time and using drugs and i was like man i can't fucking stop this like i honestly could not stop non-stop like no matter what i could not stop so one day i was like god please help me stop smoking weed it's killing me and i just could not will it through my mind and be like, oh, just stop, you know, get all the weed out of the house and just stop, you know, just 
just don't be around people who smoke weed and just mindfully, willfully use my brain and my willpower to stop smoking weed. I had to surrender completely to it and say, I can't do this. My brain can't do this. Something higher than me has to do this. I need help. You know, not counseling help, but some higher version of myself. Please help me not use drugs anymore. Please. Like, I'm tired. In my heart, I needed to surrender it. I knew that I had no control. And I, the mind, willpower, could not do it. So I had to surrender it to a higher power and fall back and say, okay, whoever you are, whatever you are, something inside me, please, let's get this done. Like, no more. You know, it's slowing my life down. I'm not making progress. I can't continue like this. And if I do, this is the outcome that I've always gotten, right? In my past life, whatever it was, I would get so far, I'm at step nine ready to go to step 10, but I cannot beat this last piece, right? So I die, I reincarnate, this might be crazy for everyone to hear, and I'm on my new life. Boom, 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 I get there, same fucking situation. My body changed, but what's inside me, my consciousness, innate, whatever, God, whatever you wanna call it, my soul, how about that, my soul, is still alive, right? You know, when you die, the flesh, drops the soul goes wherever it goes maybe maybe not who knows i might be talking crazy but let's say that's the case so the soul goes and gets into another body everything goes the whole scene plays out and boom we get there again i can't willfully beat it i can't use my mind to beat it i have to surrender to what's inside me and trust what's in me that it'll take care of it don't need the weed you don't need the drugs and something else will come along. And then it finally did, and something inside me shifted. This is what these big shifts are, like, you know, drugs, ayahuasca, shrooms, all that, you know, it can't really do the shift for you. Like, and then when you mindfully meditate and try and shift it, you cannot do it. You have to really, really surrender and let go and really let, just die, <laughs> essentially just die. Like, lay there and die and be like, okay, I'm dead, fuck it. Like, this is it, I die right now. I don't exist. Whoever you are, it's yours, you do it. And when you do that, you know what's crazy? <coughs> they fucking do it, they do it. Honestly, they do it. And now, whatever soul or whatever was inside you just being like bullied and be like, oh, shut up, I don't care about you, blah, blah, blah. You've helped me get this far, thanks, but I don't need you anymore, da, 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 da. You ask for that help, you surrender to it, and that life force like blasts through your body and your aura goes up and the glow comes and you've really beaten it and you've really had that shift and something in you will just tell you, you don't need it anymore, you won't do it anymore, and then things will change around you. It's crazy because your vibration will go from this low vibration, feeling all these things to Oh, oh, this is what life is. Pretty cool. I'll take some of that. I'll take some of that. And then you have to be careful because another addiction or something else will take the place of the marijuana, whether it's PMO, porn, masturbation, orgasm, sex, gambling, dopamine hits, Instagram, social media, validation, food, Whatever it might be, there is something for everybody to take your mind away. There's so much stimulation out there that it could be anything, right? So now the next thing comes along, but you're, now you're like, okay, I'm conscious, I beat that. Now I go, great, great, great. And then I start going unconscious again. And then I'm using up all my energy in this area, playing on social media, getting likes, going out and seeking attention, whatever. Eating food, taking sugar, you know, something to to replace that hopefully you realize this because you're woke you know and you're being real and whatever you really do the work not just doing mushrooms and having these weird ideas you know they do help and they are cool and they are good 
They do have a purpose, but it'll never blast you the way this will. And this can be done instantly. You don't have to sit here and meditate. You don't have to sit and do yoga for 12 hours. You don't have to repeat mantras. You just have to be honest, radically honest with yourself and what you're doing and why you're doing it. And being like just truthful to the surrender that you really, really are letting go of this and giving it over to a higher power, whatever that might be. You know, a lot of this stuff is from the 12 steps program, Alcoholics Anonymous. I'd encourage everyone to go to meetings, get some people you can talk to about it, but life will change. If you keep doing these things, life will change. It will bring you what you need and you will trust that what comes your way is for you and you will have the clarity to discern what is not for you. And then some people won't even be able to come near you because they already feel your light and your essence that you'll just burn them up before they even get too close. You know what I mean? Because evil doesn't like the light. You understand what I'm saying? So if you have ill intention or darkness around you and you're coming for it, just my brightness, you know, will just eliminate you from everything. Like you won't even stand a chance near me. You know, not being arrogant or talking crazy, but like some people just won't make it and won't tag along and they won't be invited and you'll just kind of burn them off. And that burns up that karma, that burns that off. And you won't feel it like all your attachments will get burnt you know the ones that are no good and then good ones will come and you free up space for some better ones and then you'll go through another lesson and you just keep doing this and like your circle of friends will change it'll get smaller you'll realize why you're around certain people and what's really going on and do i really connect with them and you know is this more for mind is this for ego is this for surrendering because if you really surrender down and you let go and let the soul take over or whatever take over, it'll just keep pulling you in the right direction. Like, it'll just be like, okay, we're gonna eat this food right now. Cool, you, sir, Jeff, have no choice. This is what we're gonna eat, okay? You know, we're gonna walk down to the park today, okay? Um, you're gonna change professions right now, <laughs> okay? But, but, but I make a million dollars right now, like, why would I take that job or why would I even look for a new job? trust me this is the divine path or you can stay stuck here in your job in your mind because you have security and you make a hundred thousand or a million dollars you have a wife you have your kids you've completed everything in life and da, da 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 or you can surrender to the truth and keep moving through life the way you're supposed to and burning up all that old karma all that old oil needs to get burned so when you come back later, you don't have to deal with this again and deal with it again and just keep living and going to the peak. And then I'm stuck in this mundane life. This is where I am. This is high as it goes. Is this all there is? No, there's so much more. And it'll always keep unfolding and unfolding because everything's constantly in motion. So you have to just keep letting go, keep surrendering. Each moment you surrender, if you sit there for the day and you just surrender down every single moment, it's wild what unfolds. It's very similar to a, a good mushroom trip if you're doing it for that reason. You know, you just keep seeing everything and surrender it down, surrender it down. Why am I really doing this? And really take a hard look because now what you're doing is you're shining the light on all your insecurities. You're really being honest. You don't have to tell the world, you can journal it. It's a little different, but if you speak it and look at it and are honest with it, it'll burn up pretty quickly. I didn't have to meditate for 12 years in a cave. I didn't have to, you know, write about it. I just need to know and be honest and look at these things and keep being honest because some shit you just don't want to look at. You're like, nah, not me, you know, maybe a little bit, but it feels good, so I'll do it. You know, I, I do love the female attraction, so. You know, I just keep milking that, but then I realized where it was depleting me and my semen retention journey wasn't allowing me to go higher. I'm like, where am I missing? Where am I lacking? What am I doing that's not helping me progress at a, a faster pace? And most people will stop there. They'll get the female attention. They'll abuse it until they relapse, make a poor decision, fall victim to lust, and either start over or just get off the path and then you know, you're shit out of luck <laughs> from there. That's a whole another story, but it's the truth. 